we are now seeing the king slayers of OCE being in play right now. Oh. Team Gap is looking to get 2-0 against all the top players, all the top teams right now of OCE. So my name is Nihal uh, and I play for Team Gap uh, in the OCE region. Uh, so I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I, I lived in the US for about eight to 10 years and then I lived in India for a bit and I'm living in Australia now. So my team actually lives across Australia. I live in Melbourne, uh, two people live in Perth, and there's one in Sydney and one in Canberra. So we're pretty widespread across Australia. I think my favorite aspect of this game is being able to play with uh, a lot of my friends. Well, a few friends of mine um, saw the game was coming out in July 2021, and we're big Pokemon fans. So we thought, hey, um, this is a new game, new style of game. Uh, let's give it a shot. Wait, OMB got time to clean up. Three down on both sides. That's what four. can we do? OMB got stuck with standing. That is five for OMB got and the side of Team Gap. And I've been shouting this man's name since day number one. So the role that I play for my team is the Pokemon that goes into the central area. Um, I think my favorite Pokemon to play is Greninja just because he's such a fun character to use and he can be a bit sneaky sometimes. So he has the ability called Smokescreen um, and he has an ability called Surf which allows you to chain reset um, hits when you are able to KO something. So he can be really sneaky by sort of sneaking up on someone with Smokescreen and then executing you know, Surf, uh, KOing a Pokemon, and then he can do it again with another Surf, and then he can do it again with another Surf. So he can be really sneaky in that sense. I would say I'm a very methodical person, so I like to approach the game logically and pick my moments. And rather than diving headfirst in, I like to analyze the situation and then choose when to go in. I, I really do enjoy, uh, I guess, playing esports. Uh, I've done it before in sort of the VGC scene for Pokemon, so um, this is like a new experience for me with Pokemon Unite. I used to play VGC pretty competitively from 2015 to around 2017. Uh, and then after that, I stepped back from it a little bit to focus on my studies and uh, real life stuff. I also created like a community website for VGC, so I've been really involved in, I guess, the esports community for Pokemon. Wait, 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 oh, oh Beagle, oh. Hit, hit the Zapdos, not the, not the Crotone, not the Crotone, not the Crotone, oh, okay. <laughs> not the Crotone. you don't want the Crotone. Yeah, yeah, that got a little bit closer, a little too close to Kappa, but team get just like that. They're gonna secure the Zapdos and put a stamp in Bandit ESC. This is looking kind of hopeless. How can they come back from this? I grew up playing a lot of the main series Pokemon games. Uh, my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Ruby. So I've met a lot of friends uh, playing Pokemon. So all of those friends are very supportive. And then the ones that I have outside of Pokemon are also very supportive. My family knows that I've been playing Pokemon for you know so long in my life. So they're pretty supportive. Um, you know, as soon as I told them, I started competing in tournaments again. I said, hey, that's really nice. I uh, hope, you, hope you win. <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to say, you know, thanks to everybody who's, you know, supporting me, supporting the OCE scene, supporting the Pokemon Unite scene in general. I think this eSport has a, you know, huge opportunity with, the, with this first season. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seizing how, seeing how the season unfolds, as well as, you know, how Pokemon Unite goes forward in the future.